Good afternoon to all staff, families, board members, and friends of the New England Center for Children. This is my ninth message to the NECC community since the start of the coronavirus crisis. In the past two months, we have identified four students and six staff across four houses who have tested positive for the coronavirus. Three of our positive students have remained asymptomatic and one has returned to their normal activities. Our teaching and nursing staff to continue to monitor all positive students closely in conjunction with our pediatrician, Dr. Botar, at UMass Memorial. We have aggressively tested all staff and students on those impacted teams, and it appears that we have contained the virus for now. We expect most of the staff who tested positive to be back at work by the end of this week. The number of positive cases at NECC remains very low compared to other congregate care settings in Massachusetts, which is in large part due to the efforts of Team NECC. Team NECC is a reality with our emergency management team, nursing staff, facility staff, food services, residential services, administrators, specialty services, our public school service group, IIP and home-based staff, and of course our dedicated teaching staff doing everything they can to help our students and families. Our staff continue to implement preparedness measures in their own lives and are self-isolating whether in their own homes or in extended stay hotel rooms to keep each other and their students safe. More than 100 staff are now living in extended stay hotel rooms. Team NECC not only includes our staff but also members of our community. Parents, siblings, extended family members, donors, board members, and local and national companies. And we cannot forget the steady and consistent support we've received from Governor Baker and Secretary Sutters. Our state has been incredibly helpful, and directly so, to NECC. It's because of everyone's collective efforts and understanding the seriousness of the situation in which we have found ourselves that we've been able to maintain a healthy workforce and student population across all of our programs. I want to thank the families in the residential program for their kindness and patience. We all know how much you miss your children. We also miss you, and I miss seeing our students on a daily basis. Despite remaining at the residences, our residential students continue to do well educationally and behaviorally, and they continue to make progress on their IEP objectives. To our day service families, we all appreciate the struggles and the challenges you face on a daily basis. We continue to look forward to the time when it is safe to reopen. We miss our day services students and we miss you, their parents. Our staff continue to look for ways to help support your child and your family during this unprecedented pandemic. I know there have been some questions about reopening parts of our programs. However, we will proceed cautiously and carefully to not only protect our staff and students, but to keep your families protected from the potential spread of the coronavirus. We've all been in this together from day one eight weeks ago, and I truly appreciate your strength and understanding during this incredibly challenging and complicated crisis. I also would like to offer our condolences to those in our community, and there are several, who have lost loved ones, relatives, or friends in during this crisis. We are all saddened by your loss. I'm sure you've all seen news reports of states reopening, people hanging out on beaches and at restaurants, and it's frustrating to see these images when we all continue to make major sacrifices in our everyday lives. It seems obvious to me that our current strategies here at NECC have kept our students and staff safe and healthy for the most part. This is going to go on for a while, and I don't see any other choice but to follow our plan. It's important that everyone recognize that we must maintain all the discipline and focus with our current preparedness measures. Please continue to practice good hygiene, wash your hands, wear a mask, practice social distancing, and when possible, stay at home. Go for long walks in nature, but go alone. I hope all our staff and parents will continue to utilize the suggestion box to pass on your ideas, thoughts, prayers, or support. Please pass on any newly discovered television shows or movies from streaming services 
that we can share with everyone to help us keep entertained during our off hours while self-isolating. Thank you to the NECC community for your continued support of our programs, and I hope that everyone will be participating in our virtual 5K walk this Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Thank you to everyone on Team NECC. Stay safe and healthy, mind the guidelines, and carry on. Thank you.